After a Smith County property was set ablaze, Mariah Condiff spoke with law enforcement and says they want to warn the community about a potential fire weather watch. Around 2 p.m., multiple fire departments responded to a structure and vehicle fire in Smith County. Uh, the fire was traveling in the northeast direction. Approximately around two acres were burned. A couple of spare vehicles that were used for parts were also burned. And a storage container that contained spare parts was also burned. No injuries were reported, and at this time, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. There was a reported power outage earlier in the day. Uh, one of the power companies servicing this area came out and to make some repairs, and then shortly after they left, the fire was called and reported. Once the fire began, Hill says the high winds definitely played a role in the rapid spread. Whatever the cause is, uh, which is undetermined at this time, the wind certainly helped, helped it progress and very rapidly. Along with the low humidity, a fire weather watch for Friday is possible. When you have very high winds like we do today, you could tell, you could hear the winds cutting through the high lines. With the humidity levels at what they are and with that, the wind, the wind gusts and the wind speeds like they are, it's extremely dangerous to burn. While Smith County is not under a burn ban, burning in the current weather conditions can be catastrophic. And it will cause the fire to get out of control drastically, very quickly, and the damage rate's very high. Putting East Texas first in Winona, I'm Mariah Condiff for CBS 19. Even though a burn ban isn't in place, officials are urging people to avoid burning in Smith County if they can while conditions remain dry. They're also advising folks to call 911 if they think an accidental fire might get out of control.